Hi everyone, in this video I want to talk about a book that I use for a course on partial differential equations at the undergraduate level. The book is Partial Differential Equations and Introduction, and it's written by Walter A. Strauss. Let's take a look inside this book. So this is the table of contents. So it says, the starred sections form the basic part of the book. So it starts off by describing where PDEs come from. Then they go on to waves and diffusions and reflections and sources. And then boundary value problems. The author then goes into Fourier series and then harmonic functions. I remember learning this. And then Green's identities and Green's functions. Computation of solutions. Cool. Waves in space. Boundaries in the plane and in space. General eigenvalue problems. Distributions and transforms. PDE problems from physics. Non-linear PDEs. And then there's an appendix. And then there are answers and hints to selected exercises. Let's look further in this book. The readability of this book is pretty good. However, it's still a pretty hard read. You have to sit down with a piece of paper and pencil and just really, really work through it carefully. Uh, there are certain sections where uh, sometimes things don't seem so clear. I remember having a very hard time uh, reading through this book. Now, that's not to say it's a bad book. Uh, it's just that when I took the course, uh, maybe I wasn't uh, as ready for this material as I should have been. But I did read a lot of the book and I understood a lot of the book. This might seem like an odd thing to mention, but this book is really good quality. Like, the pages in the book are thick, and it doesn't feel cheap. Also, it's a, it's a nice book. Like, it feels good to hold it in your hand. Uh, it's solid. Uh, it's got a pretty cover. It's got a little gold on it. So it's a really good-looking book, and the pages are not cheap. Um, that kind of in some sense, makes up for the difficulty in the reading of the book. Um, it's a nice book. It's really uh, printed well. The exercises in the book are doable. Um, I remember doing homework for this course and having a really hard time, uh, but eventually I would figure it out. So it takes a lot of effort uh, to read this book and do problems from this book. Um, one of the big negatives, in fact, for me, the biggest negative of this book was the typos in the solutions to the exercises. So when I was taking this course, um, I got stuck on some of the problems because I thought I was doing it wrong, uh, but it was just that the book was wrong. Now, I'm sure if you go on Google, you can look for what's called an errata. And that, that basically is a list of corrections uh, for the book. So if you do buy this book, uh, that is something to consider. So overall, this is a pretty good book. This is one of the few PDE books that I own. That's why I did this video. Um, let me know what you think. Do you have a favorite PDE book? Uh, maybe one that's better than this one. Let me know in the comments below. That's it.